All right, I wanted to make a quick video about uh, cold engine startup, and I'm going to explain it both simply and technically. Um, so most vehicles uh, will start up when they're cold, if it's cold outside, or, or, or even in the summer when the engine's just cold. And uh, a lot of people would just uh, put their vehicle in gear and take off. Should at least wait till the idle comes down, and uh, I'm going to explain why, and I'm going to show you why, because uh, I have some technical tools to show you that uh, why you should wait. Um, should wait for uh, the simple reason that uh, it does take a few moments for the oil pressure to get all the way up to the top of the motor. Uh, you know, make sure it's fully, uh, fully pressurized, fully equalized. And then the other is um, a lot of these newer vehicles they have variable valve timing and different uh, different oil controlled uh, features and uh, without the proper oil pressure you uh, you can't um, can't be sure your engine is equalized and uh, and ready to and ready to go I mean it will go you know because they're uh, extremely computer controlled but you should really wait for the warm-up at least it's, it's literally about 30 seconds or so um, and now that I've said in that way let me show you in a technical way uh, on the screen here I don't know if I'll be able to get this on the screen okay I'm gonna highlight the section that's important in blue I wish I had a better way of doing this, but there's cam timing being displayed in degrees, and when you first start the engine up, if I can get it back there, I don't know how this is coming out on the screen, guys. Uh, I got the sun right in it. Let me see if I can position the camera a different way. Yeah, that looks a little better. All right, I hope it ain't backwards. So I'm gonna play this log. You'll see the engine running and idling up. And you'll see that there is no uh, cam timing. And this is the technical side of letting it warm up when it's cold. There's no timing on the cam until it starts warming up, and then you see it starts bringing the cam timing up. And then when it's uh, when the idle comes down, the cam timing is at a uh, the desired uh, angles of degrees, so it's ready to take off. I mean, it literally only takes you know, 30 seconds or so. So, so that's, that's my, uh, my video for both technical, non-technical uh, explanations of why you should uh, at least wait the 30 seconds for your idle to drop, or 15 seconds, or however long it takes. It's not very long before you uh, put it in uh, gear.